Okay, here we are at Moses Grove. This is our pavilion, Pavilion Q. Pretty good turnout today. I think a hundred plus have been registered. All right, we're going to take a little walk around the park here real quick, I think. Me and past Grandmaster Young. Okay, we'll just take a quick trip. Just remember to uh, watch this Marine coming through. I don't want you to say anything you don't want recorded. Tell me a little bit about uh, your trips here before. This is my first time. The park is a beautiful park. I mean, we've the odd fellows have been coming here for years. COVID sort of put a, a damper on that. We're pleased to have this big, very large pavilion be here. We had the entire pavilion. Um, there were lodgers that would bring busloads of people to this park. Uh, we've had people from the west come out. Now there's uh, one family, mine, from the west, and you. We're the only people here from the western part of the state this week. Um, like I said, it's a really beautiful park. It's stuck up here in the middle of the night. You wouldn't know it was here. And if you don't know the story about it, the uh, husband and wife had a sawmill, lumberyard, and they had very dedicated workers. And they wanted something for the workers to do, so they built the park. Wow. Piece at a time, but the park was smaller. They were having rides for their workers and their families, give them something to do, and Knobo spawned out of that idea. So they keep adding some things every year, a little bit here and there. Some of the best food you've ever had in a hometown of Newby Park. So what about, I noticed there's some small cottages on the property when I was walking around. You can rent a cottage. Um, they're a rustic cottage. <laughs> They will have the uh, mattresses and so forth. I'm not sure if you have to bring your own bedding, but I know there are cottages on the on the property you can rent. There's also a campground. I saw the campground on my way in. It was full. It yep, like. you can pull your own motorhome, your camper, you can tent camp. Um, there are many bed and breakfasts in the area. We'll just take another little walk up here for a short while. I know Past Grand Master Young is hungry. Oh, and lunch at two. We used to eat lunch at two. This is a catered always. lunch, I understand, oh, correct? It is through the park. Lunch is always at two. It's screwed up the whole day when you had to come back and eat lunch at two o'clock. So now it's a 12 o'clock lunch. Um, but the, the family and I, we used to come out Friday. We, I would leave work early and come out. We would come straight to the park and eat dinner. That's how wonderful the food was, as opposed to going to a restaurant. This is a huge park, and I was going to try and film a lot of it, but I think if we leave it up to the imagination and all the brothers and sisters see what a good time we're having here. Now, this doesn't even include, there's a full-size swimming pool yeah, here. Right over there. We're going to go back that way anyhow, aren't we? So we'll take a... So this way, and the pool's over to the right a little bit. There's a, a pool, that's called Crystal Pool. I believe when the pool was open, it was filmed by mountain or spring water way back when. Ooh, that would have been cold, huh? It was very cold. Oh, there's the big swoosh. Salute, what we in Pittsburgh call the Pittsburgh Plunge. And they, they're opening that up at uh, Kennywood again this year, I understand. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. That, that, they opened up the, uh, what was that ride, the um, Raging Rapids this year. Oh, I knew it was one of the water ones. Raging Rapids. Is so, having talked about something from the, the West, Kennywood, it costs you about 50 bucks, not counting parking, just to get into the place. $53, so, just you come out $2. here... And uh, a nice family day for the kids and everything. There goes the one ride on up. 
I've watched a couple of things. They have one of those sky drop yeah. rides, and they give everybody a cup of water. And <laughs> they take them up with a cup of water and come down, and they don't even spill a drop. You'd think it'd be everywhere, all over the place. This is just a beautiful, beautiful park. The nice part about this park is you can park, doesn't cost you a dime. Bring your family into the park, it doesn't cost you to enter. You can walk around, eat food, and go home, and all your spent money on is what you bought. Right, and just to go into Kennywood for a walk around like that is like $25, I believe. $20 or $25. That's correct. That's just to go in and spend more money Absolutely. eating and everything. Well, and today, you can you can buy an all, 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 all you can ride pass, I believe, still at this park, but today we have tickets, which never expire. I brought tickets back three or four years later one time. And we so as long as this park's in business, if you have tickets, right. they are good here. And I understand past Grandmaster George donated those tickets for this event this year. Some of them, yeah. I think he'd be donated some money to it, yeah. So here we are, back at Q. Coming back in. Dave, I want to thank you for the tour. You're welcome. Look at the and, small one. Uh, yeah, well, we want to leave some things to the imagination because uh, we want to have people come out and make this as good as it was before. They used Absolutely. to get 300 plus out here. Today we have 100 plus, like I said before, registered. And, uh, oops, I'm trying to do something I shouldn't be doing here. Uh, so with that, I think we're going to wait to go eat. I want you there. I want to thank you for the